Hey there, air signs. We had you now. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get to shuffling, see what it is, what messages, what spirit has for you for this autumn season for the air signs. Spirit, what would you like them to know at this time? Ancestors, what messages do you have for your air signs? Okay. Okay, air signs. Maybe y'all want to watch the water sign reading, okay, in the Kinesar reading. Okay, so we have the nine of coins here. All right, so this is like feeling good, looking good, living good. All right. Um, this is about having all your needs met. All right. Make sure that you're not being greedy and that you're overspending, making sure um, that you have all your debts in the world. You know, you're at the fine, this final step before you're closing out this old cycle within your life of just troublesome things, burdensome things, right? You're on the path to success, but uh, know that you're protected. Know that they got you. They care for you. They support you. Clarify this now. Yeah, three of swords. Oh, man. That's interesting. So... Definitely moving on from um, disappointments, okay? Uh, maybe you are protecting yourself from disappointments as well. Uh, what I want to say with this energy, these two cards together, is like, don't... Don't let things rain on your parade, right? Don't let other people who come through um, and have things to speak on you. Rain on your parade. Whatever it is that you need to let go of, it's time to let go of that. Right, because it's going to end up bringing disappointment for you. Like if there are any type of things that you do that's not serving you, like how you handle yourself, how it is that you utilize on your wisdom, or how you don't lack thereof, um, it's important that you realize that is where your disappointment is lying, is uh, not doing what it is that you know that you need to do, not spending your money, not saving your money, how it is that you know you need to. Okay, there may be some, there could be some communication coming in um, there may be some justice being had as well, especially surrounding your money, right? Something that had been giving you like a really hard time or whatever that had been kind of creating any kind of mental chaos within the mind, uh, clarity is coming through, all right? <clears throat> Let me see what this says, book Okay, so failure, obstruction, disunion, absence, fall, beginning of discord, opposition, misfortune, suffering, tears, destructive pleasures. Yeah, destructive pleasures. So that's how this fits together. So whatever it is that you're doing, right, that is not serving your health, not serving your well-being, not serving you in a way that is allowing you to grow, okay? Um, yeah, like, maybe you are just sleeping too much, you're resting too much, maybe you're um, being, I don't want to say lazy, lazy may be the word for real, um, like, maybe you are too sedated, okay? And this is not allowing you to work in the way in which it is that you need to. And that can be very detrimental to things. Um, but you're at the final step. So it's like you really have to go ahead and, and, and change course. Okay. 
you have to go ahead and leave these old something that you need to deal with when it comes to like hurts pains it's not it may not be very apparent for you at this time like you may not necessarily see it. you may not even be aware of the fact that it's there right but you're just doing what you do out of the fact of uh, trying to numb yourself what else is here for your signs you know, like not necessarily knowing how to get out of this trying to gain understanding with this but I mean, no, it just seems like it's been difficult, but God is on your side for the corpus. Okay, so, um, okay. So we have a corpus here. It's the way in which it is that your mind is working about things, working for something and expecting the opposite will discourage you from happening. So the corpus is about experience. So it's like you have to go through it in order to get it done, to do it. That's what this card speaks about. It says, uh, the cork is a buoyant creature of the coastal waters predicts that you will be surfing the crest of a huge and wonderful way. Your success lies in fo being focused on one aim, living and breathing for what you believe in. Like the corpus with one well like blow hole, looking more dolphin than well, you will easily swim through your personal learning curves. Being different like the corpus is a treasure you possess. Being assured that the tranquil waters waiting do present personal good fortune and freedom from want and care. Your luck is bestowed from the depths of the sea. By taking control and daring to lo risk losing something or someone bad, you will gain so much more. So this could be a relationship that is time to let go. This could be a work relationship. This could be money related for real. Maybe time to start doing something new, working something new. Like because it's not serving you anymore in the way in which it was at one point in time, okay? But this can also be about just the way that you go about working and how you're doing these things and, um, you know, how you're perceiving what it is that you're doing. <clears throat> what stone is this? Sapphire. <clears throat> okay. I can't recall what type of way goes off top. It could be because I've been doing this for a while today. I think it's only been like two hours off and on. <laughs> what else is here, fairy? What fairies? What are the messages do you have for? Uh, the air signs at this time. The flirt. So you need to be passionate about passionate about what it is that you're doing. You need to be curious about what it is that you're doing. You need to let some things go, right? There's something that is that has you kind of like not excited about things, or maybe. Maybe you might lose your relationship because you flirt too much. I don't fucking know. All right, but there is something <clears throat> that is needing attention. It says, we all know a little flirting can be fun. Fairies love to flirt. It's just part of their personality. Some are flirtier than others. However, we, are, we have all done it from time to time. A bit too much might be another thing altogether. Are you being true to another who cares about you? Are you being true to your own values? Are you trifling with another's emotions? It is possible that someone is taking your attention more seriously than you intend. Check to make sure that you are not harming another. Are you getting involved in something that is not for your good? Be careful not to flirt with danger. See things clearly and be truthful with yourself. Pay attention to the little voice within and its warnings. This card may also be telling you that opportunity is within reach, but that you're only flirting with it. If there is something that you really want to do, sink all your efforts into the project. Avoid being superficial in your actions. It's worth doing. It's worthy of your full attention. Smile at everyone you see today. Yeah, so what I'm getting is you being lazy for real, okay? <laughs> You're being lazy air signs and you need to really put your all into what it is that you're doing and how you're doing how you're doing it there may also be someone um who you have uh you you there may be someone who you're giving like 
don't think that's some like succubus kind of energy going on, right? You need to see things very clearly. You need to detach whatever it is that you want. You need to detach yourself from that energy on an emotional level. Excuse me. Um, recognize where these people, where this person, people are joining you. Focus on the action it is that you need to take. You need to see things differently. All right. Radiate love. <laughs> Be the love for real. Okay. This is working out a win win outcome is forecast. You have to believe that this is happening. You can't let the past affect how it is that you're going to go about doing things. And when you can't figure something out, you need to meditate and contemplate. When you can't really see the truth of the matter, okay, you need to meditate and contemplate. You need to take a moment of stillness, a moment of silence, okay, so that you can allow things to happen. How it is that they need to, should happen, good Lord. What else is here? What other messages do we have here? I am curious. You gotta be curious in this. You can't think you know. If you if, if somebody says something to you and you are already ready to answer the question, you need to stop talking. Okay. You need to says I trust my intuition. Right? So this is intuition is what is that which is unseen. Okay. You need to um, get quiet. You need to get scared with you. Change your perspective of things, of, of, of yourself, of life. You need to have a little bit of fun. Maybe you need to go dancing. Maybe you need to go and have a good time. You need to move your body. All right. You need to, right? Because your intuition is what's going to help you bring all the pieces together. Okay. That is the piece to the puzzle. All right. There are signs. So, those are your messages. Stay away from the people you need to stay away from. Know that you must be curious in all of your efforts, okay? That there is nothing that takes place. You, you have to choose curiosity over struggle, right? Over survival. If you're doing something out of a space of struggle, out of a place of survival, the results may not be what you want, but if you're curious and you're like, okay, let me see what's going on here. Let me go ahead and do this. If you're already making up a narrative that something is going to be something, that's what it's going to be. It's going to be a hard time from beginning to end. All right. So, yes, I'm signs. Let's go ahead and get into Gemini. Those were your messages. Okay, my Geminis. Let's see what... This autumn is given for you. Spirit, ancestors, what would you like to learn, Gemini, to know at this time? What messages do we have for them? For Gemini, 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 for autumn season, Gemini. Okay, Gemini. It's time for you to make a decision. All right. You seem to be in contemplation mode. I don't know what you're deciding on, but um, maybe stifling you. Maybe you are not seeing clearly. Maybe you are the one who needs to change your perspective of things, of how you're seeing these things. So, okay. Maybe there's a conversation that's needing to take place. Maybe it's time to cut, cut your losses. It's interesting that you got the two of knives because the three of swords came out for that clarifier, and that's what the two of knives is coming out of. So perhaps this decision you got to make is going to be something that you think is going to be heartbreaking. I don't know. Let's clarify this. What's going on? Two of knives clarification. Yeah, you're trying to figure something out. You got the high priestess here. You're trying to figure something out that can only um, be done with guidance. This has something to do with your money. It has something to do with work. Okay. 
Mickey, you are on the path of the high priestess, Gemini. Okay, um, you're too much in your mind of trying to figure this thing out. And you're really going to have to give it space. Like, you got to take a break from this mental construct you have going on right because it's blocking you to be able to see what is really needing to happen what's needing to take place right because there's something that's needing to be cleared out okay needing to be cleared out because you were trying to reach a higher level of something all right and your mind is not the key it ain't it you gotta let it go Give it a break. Give it a rest. You thinking too much about it. Um, you need to come to, you got to find a place of peace of this decision that you have to make. You <laughs> know, let it be. All right. <clears throat> You're going to trust your intuition or what? <clears throat> You're going to trust what you have to do or what? Alchemy. Because this is what's happening. You're taking what you're having and doing something so great. Your ability to create is exponential. Okay. Queen Nefertiti. All right. There is some great change taking place because at the bottom you have Oya. Why do I keep misplacing this book? It's getting late, y'all. Air energy. <laughs> Gemini. It says, it's, it is time you turn everything that life throws your way into gold. You're on the path of fulfilling your purpose. You're an alchemist. You have the power to bend the universal energy. Dare to transmute it. Transmute lead into gold by shifting from fear to love. Everything you desire exists in some form of loving energy. Match this frequency. See it with your mind's eye first. Imagine it. I am loved fully. What does it look, taste, and smell like to be loved unconditionally? I am happy and healthy. See it. I am a money magnet. What does it feel like? Everything I touch turns to gold. Gemini. Look. Do what you need to do. You already know what you need to do. We're going to pull a love card for you. Let's see what's happening here. This love energy for Gemini. Gemini, you got to trust yourself. You gotta know that you're doing. If you, if there's anything you think about, is thinking that you know that you are who you are, that you're doing what you need to do. Okay, you know the way. Lead yourself. So with love, this is interesting. It says you hurt me. So maybe there's some conversations you're having with someone um, at this time about pain in some way um and maybe this pain is what you're alchemizing right maybe there's something deep within that you are needing to acknowledge um of how you're feeling so that you can work through this so that you can alchemize this energy if you didn't watch the the collective reading go watch that you know so that you can um i talked about alchemy that this is a season of alchemizing things okay Whatever this is, it really hurts you because at the bottom, I am in despair. Maybe you hurt somebody. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. What else is this? Let me clarify this. You hurt me. Can I get another message with this? You hurt me, spirit. Talk to me. Someone's not talking to you. You're not talking to someone for real. Some, some, mm, someone at the bottom is I don't have time. So someone's trying to get your attention or was trying to get your attention and you didn't give it. Um, somebody's feelings is hurt. You know, this could be an old relationship. This can be some, what are saying? You, whatever this is, you know what I'm talking about. You know what they're talking about. Um, you know, because their feelings are very hurt. Um, maybe your feelings are very hurt. I'm not sure. Maybe y'all both, maybe y'all feelings are both very hurt, whoever this is. Okay. Um, 
So definitely take some time with that energy, Gemini. Ooh, didn't expect that. Okay. Those are your messages, Gemini. I feel like I want to cry. I hope y'all are right. Okay. So let me know. Uh, let's go ahead and get into this Libra energy. Libra, spirit, ancestors, what messages do you have for my lovely Libras? Oh my lovely Libras. I really love me some Libras. Yeah, I like some of my favorite people. My husband is a Libra, and that's not why I'm some of my favorite people. <laughs> some of my greatest friends have been Libras. Granted, I don't talk to them anymore, but, you know, it, it's not a personal thing. You know, we just move on. So, Libra, you on your new shit. All right, we're on a new path. You got some of sticks here. Okay, you are really trailblazing into something new, something fresh, right? Something very exciting. Like you're feeling very invigorating. This hat might have something to do with conversation, communication. You may be um, opening up to some no, new way of going about doing things. You might be um, finding new ways to connect with yourself with spirit okay with um like your attention you may be being in this new space of magnetism even okay clarify the son of stick for us um you may find yourself being able to come up out of uh places where you were seeing very like like where luck just wasn't on your side that may just go away all of a sudden for you Play by the yeah six of swords all right a lot of protection energy here all right you are very protected all right, really tapping into your power and getting and finding balance within your life and your world it's it's coming very quickly, all right? What it is that you are wanting, what you're going after is happening. There may be somebody new coming into your life, like some new relationships, maybe some new work even, um, some new connections, new communication, new conversation, all right? Some new understanding, like you are rising from the ashes in a profound way, a very powerful way even, right? But for it's, for it's from the heart. A lot of communicating from the heart. There's a lot of love here, you know, um, and a lot of energy you're creating. It's like you're feeling very on top. This is the, um, what is this? Autumn is fall, all right? Because you're starting a new beginning for yourself, a new fresh light, like you're letting go of everything, everything, all the hurt, all the pain, all the, you are utilizing Okay, your wisdom to help you uh, move forward. Your life is renewed. It's trailblazing a new path. Like your cup is full. Sheesh. The feeling. It feels like really good, right? Wow. You got mommy wants to make it. So you're feeling very safe, feeling very vulnerable, feeling very open, right? Feeling very creative, feeling very receptive you're coming back parts of your soul as well um, a lot of healing is taking place a lot of forgiveness is taking place you're forgiving others all right you're forgiving you you're forgiving your mother even okay you're seeing things for what it is they truly are there's some deep healing taking place here it's like love is on your side what is the love messages for Libra spirit? The world is your oyster. Anything is possible. All right. If you keep the momentum, what you are going after will manifest. It is happening. Love for Libra. Somebody's lost. No, well, that ain't easy. I want to be alone. Okay. I am lost. I want to be alone. So maybe there is a relationship that um, you have been, maybe you opened yourself up to someone and they are not ready for you. 
whoever this is, they're not ready for you. It's really that simple. It's, they are not ready for you. And maybe you're not ready for them. Mm -hmm. And I feel whole with you. <laughs> That's a lot of mixed messages. So, it's like this being alone helps them realize who you are in their life. Um, or maybe this person, or maybe even you may feel like that you don't have it in you. Um, maybe there's something in reference to codependency here, right? Because it's good to feel whole with another person, but it's really important to feel whole with them. Because that's where wholeness begins. Right, so perhaps that's something that you're working on right now, your own personal wholeness. Um, maybe the person that you were with even is helping you do this. Um, and that, that feeling lost may be coming from um, this new beginning that's taking place in your life. Maybe that's also something that you have just been suffering with for a while, but you are in a place of changing your mind. Okay, and growing. Yeah, there's a lot of growth that's taking place here. Um, there's a lot of healing that's taking place in reference to love for you. Um, and dealing with the pain that has come from the past, because that three of swords did come up at the beginning, and that it was stopping you from manifesting the dreams of what it is that you want. Right, so you have to have the courage to be vulnerable. Do not hide. Yeah, so you are on the path of showing the wholeness of you. Right, so with that, that's going to take time. Maybe you are needing time alone. Maybe this is a single time for you. Right, this is for people who are single. Right, those who are in relationships, even still, um, maybe taking a lot of time for yourself may be very important for you. I'm um, trying to figure out where it is that you're headed, where you're going, what it is that you actually want for love, if you don't know what it is that you want for that at this time. Okay, Libra. So, yes, those are your messages. I hope that they are supportive for you for this part of season, Libra. What well, is here for Aquarius? Last but not least, our Aquarius. Mm -hmm. Our godly messenger, Aquarius. What messages do you have for us? What Aquarius spirit ancestors? What would you like Aquarius to know at this time? Aquarius. I'm going to take a break, Aquarius. You need some rest this season. You be juggling a lot, my love. Admirable. Y'all love to work, don't y'all? Okay. Y'all can choose work before something else. If it's some money involved. Okay, but it's time to take a break. It's time to relax your mind. It's time to be at peace with yourself. Okay, it's time to be at peace with the world around you. Maybe you feel accomplished. There is some healing that is taking place, maybe in disappointment. Uh, from the past, you're gathering your energy so that you can move forward and continue on. Clarify this four of nine spirit. Seven of wands. Like, you're getting out of this space while always having to defend yourself. It's just like, fuck it. I ain't doing this no more. Okay. A vision of beauty triumphant. You're focusing on the beauty in life, you know. You, you're attaining the help it is that you need so that you don't always have to feel like that it's a battle. The battle is ending, okay? It's like you're coming to the space of, oh, I did it. You get to take a breather. A wish is being granted. You are, the way has been lit, and it's moving swiftly. It's moving in the way in which it is that you want it to without you having to even think about it. You're not doing that. That's beautiful. Shall I be doing a lot? 
live out loud. You're given a chance to just do you for real. You get to live free. You get to share your voice. You get to be you. All right, you deserve that. All right, coming out of this space of scarcity, you always prosper. Even when you feel, even when you feel like you're not, even when you look like you're not, you're always prospering. Okay, so Aquarius. Feeling grounded, you're feeling good, you're feeling, yes. Like you should. <laughs> what messages for love? What messages for love do you have for for Aquarius? What messages do you have for love for Aquarius? I miss you so much, it hurts. So if somebody's thinking about you, or you're thinking about somebody, reach out, all right? Reach out to them. See, see how it's going. Invite them over. Go out to eat. Take a break. Maybe go to the spa together or something. I don't know. Because at the bottom, you got you complete me. Okay, so, so whoever this is, whether it's a friendship, a love relationship, this person is very important to you, was very important to you, okay? Um, so it's important that you connect, all right? Connect how it is that you want to, that you need to, or maybe there's just some forgiveness that's needing to take place. Maybe there's some hurt that's needing to be healed. Maybe there is a relationship that's no longer what it once was and you're wishing that it was. So what do you need to do to make it that? You know? So Aquarius, thank you for sitting through this with me, you guys. If you are here to the end, if you watch this entire video, it's a long video, okay? But if not, Y'all take care. If you would like a personal seasonal reading, um, check out the link below. Go under Clarity on the website and you will find it there. I will talk to you guys soon and y'all have a wonderful season. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.